If you like this video or content, please give me a subscribe. If you like the actual video, give me a thumbs up. But anyway, let's continue on with the video. Hello, welcome back. We're back to the Retron 77. And around before, around Christmas time, before the new year, I got myself a little treat. This is from Stone Age Gamer. I am not affiliated with them. I bought this on my own money and they had a sale for 30 bucks. So this is the Ranger uh, replacement. I've been playing the Atari with this guy and a lot of people commented and I've seen some videos. This is not very good. It breaks after a while. He still does say use an actual Atari proper controller because this guy will break. But I decided to, I wanted the paddle controller. So instead of getting the one that I have to repair, I decided to get new and see how that goes. So I'm going to open this. It's not an official unboxing. Like this is late in the game. This has been reviewed all the time, but I decided to put it on my channel and I upgraded the, oh, I ripped it. I upgraded the uh, firmware on the Retron 77. The last video I did was on 6.3. Now it's up to 6.6, .6, I think. So it's pretty much that's it. So let's take a look. I've yet to actually touch this. It's been sitting next to me ever since I got it. Well, that's okay. Well, I like the, um, the side controller. So I want to try this out. So I'm going to unplug you. Uh -huh. And I'm going to plug you in. Now, let me know in the comments if you want me to try it on my other flashback systems. I think I got another one. I got a Atari flashback, which has both um, Atari, like it's a really old one. And, but it's going to look like crap on display. Ooh, wow. This is weird. If you look at the, um, my clone Atari controller, it looks like an actual, it, this looks like an Atari um, uh, plug. This one's very small. Hmm. As long as it works, I'll put you guy in here. There we go. So, it's a lot more heavier. Like this guy, it feels like it's nice in my hands. So, we're going to switch over now. So, we're going to switch over here. And then we're going to turn this guy on. And we're going to play some games. And I have some cartridges that I've tried. It didn't work before. And now they do work. So, I'm going to move me over here. Get out of the way. So, let's try some... Oh. Do I... How do I play this? Okay. Do... Oh. There's a button here. No. Oh, there it goes. That's weird. Okay, there's a button on the top. It takes a, a minute to register. Thought I would have to end the video. <laughs> oh, that would suck. That would suck. All right, so I'm going to try my favorite, which is Hero. So I think it's this button. Yes. It feels weird. Like, it's doable. This feels weird. It doesn't... Like... It just... It's almost like I feel like I'm going to break it. Like, it's doable. It's playable. And it's responsive. It just... You got the hefty controller. The, the, the stick here. And I'm just so used to playing it like this. Like, it's almost like I want to play it on a, on a Sega. See, I just, it's going to be taking some use to. All right. Ooh, 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 ooh. So I'm just going to play this for a little bit. All right. So I'm going to go back. I think it's the button here. Yeah, it goes back. All right. So... I want to play Kaboom. 
I don't have Kaboom for the console, so I guess I switch it here? No, um, there. Can I? Do I? Am I doing something wrong? Okay, look, I'm literally, am I doing something wrong? Okay. All right, let's try uh, Breakout. We go here. What does that say? I'm blind, I'm blind, I'm blind, I'm blind. Oh, that's paddle, all right. So this is the paddle setting. Oh, yeah, that works. What the hell? Whoa. Am I doing something wrong? It doesn't work on the Retron? No. Really? Let me know in the comments. Am I doing something wrong? Huh. I guess I'm playing this on an original. Maybe I'm supposed to, hang on, hang on a second. Maybe I'm supposed to plug it in controller port two. That's a possibility. Okay. I don't know. Did I read the instructions? Of course you don't read the instructions. No, nope, it don't work. Nope. It's control. Wow, I did not know that. Well, that sucks. Like, it's fine for. <laughs> I guess it's only for. The 2600 and the 7800. No, it says Retron 77 right here. Maybe it's the firmware that messes it up. Interesting. Let me try to play it. All right, maybe I just need to play it. Maybe, oops. Nope, I can't move. Nope, I am useless. Maybe I'm supposed to put it in the middle, maybe? All right. Let me try Kaboom again. Oh, there it goes. Weird. Okay. It's not precise. It is not precise. Wow. Wow. This is not precise. There's a such... I don't know if because of my capture device, but there is a delay. Whoo. Wow, that is quite the delay. All right, so I'm going to take you out. Now, I'm going to try some of the other games. I'm going to put you away. I guess I'll try it on my regular. Maybe this works on my Atari 2600, but wow. Or the firmware. Maybe it just doesn't like the firmware. I guess I'll have to wait till it updates. Let's put this guy back in. So, some of the stuff that didn't work before... Um, this is a new game. Actually, no, it's an old game, but um, I had to clean these cartridges. <laughs> so this is fast food. These, this is one of the games that I, in my childhood, I got. No 
get the purple pickles. Oop. I don't know. I'm. It's fine. See, the controller here is now fine. Everything's fine. I don't think it was like a delay. Uh. It's one of those companies I want to like. I want to like the Hyperkin. So, I do have the original firmware in there. So maybe it's a firmware issue. Maybe they need to fix the firmware. Maybe you want to fix the compatibility there, dudes. Because updating the firmware makes it a whole lot more functional. Let's eat the purple pickle. Nope. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna put this back. All right, so that works. And then another game was, I remember when I played, when I had the firmware updated originally, I had Dragon Treasure, which was my Zeller's game. It didn't work. And I cleaned it and all that, and it didn't work. Now with the updated firmware, it works. Yeah, and it's just as hard as before. <laughs> Can I? There we go. Now, for those you don't know, um, the company Zellers came out with their versions. So if you look, let me go switch back here. See, this is not an original game. It was from Imagic, and they just took the ROM and they just put their own label on it, which I find hilarious. And they got sued for it too. So what other games? Uh, my homebrew game of Dragon doesn't work. See if I just pop this guy in here. <clears throat> Nothing, it just comes up with a black screen. Which is unfortunate. I wouldn't mind playing this on... See, it just comes up with a black screen like nothing. But I thought Pitfall wasn't working. All I did was took in a... I took a cotton swab. Actually, it was started off with my fast food game. I took a cotton swab and cleaned it and it worked. And I put the cartridge in and out. And then Pitfall wasn't working. Then I put Pitfall in. And now it works. So, give me a minute. I'm going to see if I can find the original uh, ROM. So, just to make sure I found the original uh, ROM, I actually sealed it with tape. So, I'm not going to forget about it. So, all right. So, I'm going to close you. Take the SD mini SD card out. There you are. It's tiny, this little thing. These are so tiny. I just don't want to mix them up because they are exactly the same. This is more of a generic one, so I'm going to put you in here. So this is the original firmware that I've kept when I bought this thing. Come on. There. So, pop this guy out. Turn you on. There, this is the original firmware. So, I'm gonna put in the Retron controller again the uh, Ranger and let's see if it freaks out now I it doesn't support firmware so I'm gonna put in this guy and let's see what happens maybe it doesn't even work like the firmware was very basic but this is a very popular game what do you know that works perfectly 
Nice to know. That is much better. Like I could tell that the um, the original firmware didn't have like the the screen looks better with the hack firmware. Oh. It's a little weird, but this is the only. Uh. All right, so that tells me that it's the firmware that does it. All right, now I now you know the rest of the story. <laughs> um, I don't have any other uh, Super Breakout is like the only paddle uh, capable game that I have, and I don't think it loads. I don't think you can load your own ROMs because Hyperkin has a policy of there's games included, some homebrews, and if you want to play the games, you're not going to pirate them. You have to buy the cartridges, which is fine. That's fine. And I remember, okay, so that tells me that this works fine. It's the firmware. Glad I kept it. So the other video I wanted to do is I wanted to try the Retron with this. This is the video touchpad. I got this at my brothers, he, he buys lots and sells them again on eBay and all that. And hopefully he'll come out with a video with him doing one of the his retro trade shows. And um, when I went there last, he, he just gave me this. Like, I don't know what this is, and I know exactly what it is. But this is the video touchpad. I want to know if it works with the Retron, but not on this video. So make sure you uh, subscribe and hit the little bell notification if you want to know if this works. But... Uh, I hope you enjoy this video, uh, sort of, I always do the unscripted stuff, but you know, if you like it, maybe you want to hit that little bell and hit the little subscribe for more stuff until the next video. This is Mike signing off. Mm -hmm.